And we'll return to our breaking news on the Holmes trial right now. The jury unable to reach a verdict on three of 11 counts. And within the last few minutes, the judge has given the jury some new instructions. Let's check in right now with Scott Budman outside of that courthouse. What are you learning, Scott? Yeah, it's what you said, uh, Laura and Chris. The note that came back from the jury told the judge we are unable to reach a verdict on three of the counts. Now, remember, there are 11 counts that Ms. Holmes is accused of, nine of fraud and two of conspiracy. So we don't know which three the jury is hung up on. Now, as far as the very latest, we do know that the judge has instructed the jury to essentially go back and keep working. What we don't know, in addition to what three charges they are hung up on, is what the status of the other eight charges are. They haven't come back with a note saying, hey, we've got eight completely unanimous, we're all in agreement, but on three we are in disagreement. All we know is that they haven't reached a unanimous agreement on three of the charges. Now, it's been six and a half days. They're in day seven right now of deliberation, so the assumption is that they have reached unanimous decision on several of the counts, if not eight, but they didn't say that. Again, all they said was, we are unable to reach a unanimous verdict on three of the counts. So, without naming what those three counts are, the judge said, here's what I want you to do. I want you to continue to take your time. I want you to continue to be patient. I want you to continue to assume innocence, all of the original jury instructions, but he did say, get back in there and continue. And we don't know how long that continuation will be. Obviously, we don't know if they are 11 to one or eight to four or six to six, whatever they are, they're not 12 to zero on those three counts. And that's why the note was given. And that's why the judge gave the note over to both sides, the attorneys for the prosecution and the defense. And they sort of backed and forth. The prosecution said, well, hey, they should perhaps keep going. The defense said, hey, maybe we have a mistrial here. But it seems to be that the judge is saying at this point, we're not done. Go back there and take some more time. So Chris and, uh, and Laura, that's the latest. And we're waiting to hear perhaps even more today, if not later this afternoon, on, on these three charges. Yeah. But this is the first of a little bit of activity that we've actually seen uh, from this. Elizabeth Holmes in the courtroom. You witnessed her. Any reaction at all? You know, she has been really stone-faced through most of this trial that she wasn't on the stand for. And while there was a buzzing of activity on both sides of the aisle, if you were, the prosecution attorneys and the defense attorneys were whispering. I must say, Elizabeth Holmes stood very still that whole time. She didn't partake in the whispering or the huddling. She was just looking straight forward. Later, they actually brought in the jury so that the judge could tell the jury what he wanted to see next. And Elizabeth Holmes made some contact occasionally with her eyes, but really the jury didn't look back. They seemed to be focused on their task. So she's been pretty stone-faced through the morning. And uh, again, we expect that pretty soon, if there aren't further instructions, she and the lawyers will walk back out continue to go back to their hotel room and wait to see if there's even more drama to come today. All right, yeah, the judge essentially saying, keep trying. Get back at it. We know that. All right. We'll, well we keep know, watching. <laughs> we know you'll return to the courtroom as well and bring you um, the very latest if there is any. Thank you very much, Scott.